Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to the last week of school. You're going to have school Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday is your last day. We will um, meet face to face Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, so I've got a read aloud here called Beagle. This is a really cute story. And after I read it, we have some um, questions that I'm going to ask you when we're done. Okay, so this is called Beagle, the unimaginary friend. Okay. The adventures of Beagle. Look at these imaginary friends. The Adventures of Beagle, The Unimaginary Friend by Dan Sandow. Let me try and get this right. There you go. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined by a real child. What do you notice about these imaginary friends? Beagle over there, see him? Every night he stood under the stars, hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. He waited for many nights. But his turn never came. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. So rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things. But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on. There he is. Thanks, honey. Until he reached the real world. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear the music, and everyone needed nap time. Then he finally saw something familiar, so he followed. What's he seeing, boys and girls? An imaginary friend, right? He had a good feeling about this place, but he looked everywhere and he could not find his friend. Okay, so there's a lot of children with imaginary friends here, but Beagle cannot find his. He climbed to the top of a tree and looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. But no one came. He thought about how far he'd come and how long he'd waited and felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello? Her face was friendly and familiar, and there was something about her that just felt right. At first, they weren't sure what to do. Neither of them had made a friend before, but after a little while, they realized they were perfect together. She named him Beagle. And he says, I'm Beagle. Hi, Beagle. Oh. 
Beagle and Alice had many new adventures. They shared their snacks. They told funny jokes. The world began to feel a little less strange. Hmm. Maybe meeting new friends, having beagles giving her, um, her the courage to maybe meet new people. And together they did the unimaginable. All right, take a look at the real children with their imaginary friends. Okay, let's talk about the book a little bit. So on Wednesday, we'll talk about why do you think children make up imaginary friends? And have you ever done it? What funny kind of imaginary friends did you notice on the island? How or why were Beagle and Alice perfect together? Why were Beagle and Alice perfect together? All right, I hope you enjoyed that story. I did, and we'll talk about it Wednesday.